I don't need to tell you that Viviro is the lifeblood of Castillo's regime. He's built work camps to produce it all over Yara. These plantations use outcasts as slaves to grow the tobacco plants they turn into Viviro. Hit that slave camp hard. Suerte. Listen, I'm not going to bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead, I get you. And I'm supposed to be in Miami, but instead, my two best friends are dead, and I'm stuck here with you. So, truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there, and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Take this gear. It'll protect you from fire, and more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison. Using the right protective gear in the right situation will keep you alive. Yeah, right tool for the right job. I'm hearing that a lot lately. Listen, Julio. Lita was like a sister to me. She shouldn't have been on that fucking boat. She died because of you, Blas. No. Anton Castillo killed Lita. If I could change anything, it would be me dying on that beach. Lita was a better person than I could ever be. And if she loved you, well, that just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look, if you and I are going to do this, you need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, but we call it the poison because it fucks up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Coño. So you're military. Marksman? Close us up? What's your thing? I'm good with guns. We get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you is good for fire and poison, but guerrillas need gear that fits their style, no matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout it. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against. Up here, Dali. See the Viviro tobacco and the yellow poison tanks? See. Si. Punch holes in the tanks to let the poison out into the air. Fun fact. Poison and fire make a hell of a mix. Big boom. Same idea with the fumigators. They're hard to kill, but they can't take the heat. You've got a flamethrower. You've got that Supremo. Time to fuck up all this Viviro bullshit. You know, Lita and I had a ritual. Psych us up before battle. A song. Hit me. El movimiento de libertad. Oh, Bella Ciao, Bella Ciao, Bella Ciao, Ciao, Ciao. <laughs> For Lita. For Lita. Let's make some chaos, Annie.
fumigator. Great. Burn this fucking place to the ground. Run before you get hurt. Thank <laughs> you. 
on my way. Shit. You really can hold your own. I don't want to say I told you so, but... <laughs> Look, we should move. That was a hell of a light show, and they're going to see the smoke. We work well together. See, si. Listen, if you are good with Lita, you're good with me. Gracias, Danny. Meet you back at camp. Clara, I hope you can see the smoke from where you are. You struck a blow against Castillo today. I hope Julio wasn't too rough on you. He's hurting, but okay. I think Lita would be smiling right now. Danny, there's someone I want you to meet. His name is Benito. He's a local fisherman, which means boats for Libertad. He lives on the east side of Casas Cove. Always got time to make new friends. You're building bridges for me, Danny. It's your gift. We need Benito. Talk to him. Go! Hey, holy fuck, today. Every day. <laughs> Let me guess. Clara Garcia talked you into this. Suerte, mija. Going to pay his friend Rosario a little visit. Just be careful. She's not gonna be alone. Do some scouting before you pull the trigger. Remember, rule number nine. Right tool for the right job. Rule number ten. Shut the fuck up. You're an adult and can make your own decisions. Spread your wings and fly, little bird. That must be Rosario. I think my Supremo can kill that tank. Or maybe I can steal it. Rosario, adios, asshole. Okay, Benito. Rosario is dead, and the fuel is flowing again. See, si, carajo. I admit, I got my doubts about Clara, but I never doubted you, mija. I know a thing or two about looking out for your own. Tell Clara I'm heading to her camp. She's got our boats and our support. Gracias, Danny.
You want us to take down Anton's ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compai. What the fuck are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Heffa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. Is won by the fear. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara free of Castillos. But he will fear nothing. Unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns. Today. Because today I'm going to put a hole through Castillo's warships. I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Let's go home, Grias. Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, guerrilla. Go! There is the officer.
Hopper, move! Hey, Juan, anti-aircraft cannons out. The sky is yours. Now go get those ships, and Juan will be your avenging angel of death. Whatever. As long as you got my back. <laughs> I've got your back, a fresh cigar, and 12,000 rounds of divine wrath. Vamos echando! Clara! I'm close to Castillo's ships. Muy bien, Danny. You'll be boarding... Those ships as our assault element. Julio, where are you? I'm in the lighthouse. Sitting pretty with an RPG in perfect line of sight to the ships. Want to hear your voice, Raisa? Top of the tower, round in the chamber, scope dialed in. Juan? Buckle up, guerrillas! Air Juan is in disguise and my bullets are hungry! Remember... We take those ships and we punch a fucking hole straight to our island. We get one shot at... This Libertad. See you on the other side. want to use your camera to check out the defenses on those ships. Look before you leap. If Lito was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships already. If Lito was here, I'd kick her ass for keeping you a secret. Take care of yourself, Julio. Should disable the alarm. Camera. Sniper. Clara, I'm on board. This is it, Danny. Clear those ships and don't be afraid of using their own weapons against them. Those turrets pack one hell of a bunch.
soldiers here. nearby. Julio.
one. Are you, Clara? There's a Viva Libertad, Danny. Show. I have to give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo were going to work shit jobs. Until we could scrape up some money, open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay. If we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free election solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, foreign-backed coups. Take your pick. Yarens will be killing Yarens for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yare is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can't really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. <sighs> Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Libertad will kill you fucking through your eyes! Fedors! Criminales! Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love, not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. Fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must Put them down. Uh. Uh. 
Papa! You've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio. I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Fine. Then, enjoy the show. Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit, but it'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave? Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best, Kiria. I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work? 50 50. Favorite guerrilla. Want me to make you the best supremos and resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island, his anti-aircraft cannons. When you got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan will move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, we'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice, guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. You'll be back. They always come back. <laughs> 